Hey, Saka Fed guys. Confusing title, huh? I know, let me explain. Microsoft Windows File System NCFS has a built-in compression feature that allows you to compress individual files, file group contained in a folder, or heck, the whole system. You can watch Linus's video about this compression for more details, but TLDR, data compression is a process in which the size of a file is reduced by re-encoding the file data to use fewer bits of storage than the original file. That's amazing, every computer should have this enabled by default, right? It depends. Like every compression tools available out there, it takes time to compress and decompress files depending on the complexity of the compression. Using a popular compression tool like 7-zip, you can see up to 6 modes available. Store is the lowest mode, it's basically putting all the files and directories under a single file without reducing their individual size. And every time you use a stronger compression level, it'll take more time to decompress the file chosen, resulting in a longer time to decompress these exact files. That's exactly what happens when you activate this compression. Windows handles the compression decompression in the background without showing any progress bar. That'll be annoying. Um, and for performance purposes, the files are compressed in a way to prevent a lot of performance penalty. The performance of a computer doesn't only depend on how fast the processor is. In fact, it's a mix of do you have enough RAM to make Windows and my running apps comfortable? Do I have enough RGB? And more importantly, is the drive that I'm using fast enough? You can have enough RAM, a beefy CPU, and you will still find that your system to be somewhat not that buttery smooth. Using a fast solid state drive is sometimes more important than having a lot of RAM in some occasions. If you have fast storage and a slow CPU, you're gonna feel that your system is kinda slow when opening apps or reading out big files. But if you have a fast CPU and a slow disk, this actually could be beneficial because you'll be able to load the files faster due to the compression and not having to go through a lot of delay due to the file then compression going on in the background. With this compression enabled on my boot drive, the Silicon Power 128GB SSD, it took me ages to install games, opening up like Firefox and VLC was like they were installed on my internal disk drive because of the CPU was having a bad time reading small compressed files. But after disabling this compression for these apps, I again felt that I was using a SSD. Quick quick up, if you have enough storage, leave this compression as it is to have the maximum speed running Windows. If you have a small drive and your CPU is fast enough to handle the, the compression, you shouldn't feel any loss in performance and in this case, having it enabled will be a formidable idea. But if your CPU is not that fast and you need space, Try to move some unnecessary files from your disk drive and you still can't try to update your system or uh, add more RGB. It's proven that the right combination of RGB can actually improve your drive performance. If you stayed till the end, don't forget to drop a like and smash that subscribe button while pressing the notification bell. My name is Kensley, you're here for the tech and this is Kevin Theater.